What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Spanko. We're back with another vlog, but this time we're starting off in the bedroom, aka the studio. And should I have a real studio, but don't mind that, okay? Right over here, our backpack is all set up, ready to go. So we are going to locals and we're gonna be playing another meta deck in today's locals. Again, like I said in all my vlogs recently, I wanna get back into competitive Yu-Gi-Oh! And I know typically I do the rogue stuff, but I think the competitive stuff is gonna be very fun to showcase and show you guys that I actually am a pretty good player. Cause I've gotten a lot of comments in the past. Oh, you don't talk. Oh, you don't do this. Well, that's because I've been making content, but now I'm making content and i'm gonna be competitive okay so with that being said though i want to show you guys the list that we're playing today because it's a little spicy it's different than the typical list that i've been playing so i'm gonna be trying it out for the first time i've actually never played this at an event before and i want to show it to you guys and kind of show you guys how it works all right guys so i got my deck box over here this is a side deck i'm really going to be showing you guys the extra deck because the main deck is pretty standard i would say so here's the main deck so we're playing kashtira and i wanted to try the vanity's emptiness stuff if you guys have watched my past vlogs that's kind of something i've been wanting to try however i'm not trying that today that'll be for another video but for now what i want to do is you guys are going to see the typical stuff except you guys are going to start seeing a lot more link plays so we're playing not just the regular kashtira we're actually playing the heat soul kashtira build today which i've never actually played yet but uh i've been learning some combos online so hopefully it'll pay off i really like this extra deck i think it's really it makes a lot of sense right like being able to draw a ton of cards you're playing a ton of hand traps and then side deck pretty standard over here so with that being said though really the only thing i need to learn is how often to go into this it does lose into nibiru and i really need to learn how to play around nibiru with this but you know this is really cool i really like this engine gives you access to stuff like access code talker gives you access to ip and then sp which i found that i never really made sp before so maybe this is going to give you a different way to make a different kind of disruption which is really nice and with all the hand traps it should be pretty easy to make baron as well so we're going to see how this deck performs for me today again like i said i've never really played this version of kashira so we're going to be testing it today and hopefully i can figure it out all right so with that said it's uh really close to locals time so we gotta get going soon after all right we made it to locals barely on time it's uh 6 39 it's supposed to start at 6 30 but everyone just finished signing up so they're about to call i think names now the smaller locals today which is really nice i like these sunday locals it's kind of more chill i feel like people are preparing for work on monday and whatnot so sundays are a little bit quieter a little bit more fun i can get home a little bit earlier as well but so we're going to be doing our feature matches, which by the way, if you guys want to see all the feature matches, make sure to check out Spanko Duels because uh, then you guys get the full extent of what's going on. Both my duels. I don't know if today I'm going to just do my duels or opponent's duels and other people's stuff as well, but uh, you guys are going to get a little bit of everything on that channel. So make sure you guys check it out. All right. With that being said, though, I, I don't know what to do other than wait. I guess we're just waiting until our round starts. I'll just stand by, Joe. Oh, Back row or front row? Back row. I don't want to be popping the hate soul. Yeah, that's why I was like, <laughs> maybe he says front row. Uh, no, I, I think I have to. Okay. So I'm at six, three. I'm at three. Battle face? You have the. Bro, okay. And battle face? Sure. That's. You're better than all of us. <laughs> that was crazy. Wanted lightning storm evenly. Alright, guys, unfortunately, rescue ace is a crazy. Crazy matchup for Kashtira. I've never actually played the Rescue Ace matchup with Kashtira. It turns out that I didn't know this until now, but uh, I was talking to some of the guys and they were all saying Rescue Ace is like the worst matchup for Kash. The fact that they have the Book of Moon and then all the set four and all that is uh, kind of nuts. I got two oats pretty quick there. I don't know how I feel about the decode engine. You guys are going to see, if you guys watch the full feature match on the duels channel, you guys are going to see that I actually used it in game two, wanted to draw some hand traps. I had an imperm Solemn Judgment Ash, but then what happened was um, he had Lightning Storm evenly. I only had a judgment for one of them, kind of sad, but I will say that the engine is just so big in the extra deck that I feel like when it passed back to me, if I had more stuff in my extra deck, I might've been able to play through and win. So maybe I'm just not playing it right, but yeah, it's definitely one of those engines that you need to make sure that your resources are in check, especially with prosperity, because you're using like three cards just to get it, or four cards, I mean, just to get into Heat Soul. And then if you prosperity once for six, that's already 10 cards out of your extra deck, right? So maybe it's me, maybe I played it wrong, but that's what we're here for today. We're here to learn. So with that being said, round two is about to start. So let's see what happens. Negate. Yeah. Negate. Yeah. Any negate or monster negate? Uh, monster or spell. Monster or spell. Okay, no trap. Cool. Negate, negate. Yeah. Is princess in the grave? Yes. Another negate. Stash steal and negate. Yeah. All right, drop it in. How can we tell? Yeah, sure. Enter battle? Yeah. 3k? Yeah. 24? Yeah. 15? Yeah. Uh, maybe it's 2? Yeah. End phase? 
Uh, effect, number five. Uh, sure. Stand by. Alright, cool. Whoa. Bro, what is Rika? I mean, I ended up winning the round, which was really good. I ended up winning it in three. Game one, I got cooked. Absolutely cooked. Not even close. That deck can put up seven negates like it's nothing, right? And then uh, game two was a little bit closer. I went first. Going first makes it feel a little bit better because when I end on Unicorn, I purposely ended on Unicorn because I know that the Dryas is at one and that's one of the main parts of their combo. So I ended up banishing the Dryas. While they kind of broke the board, I was able to, on my turn when it came back to me, kind of like remake a board. Not necessarily remake, but I had enough of a board where I could just go for game anyway. So hitting that Dryas, very important with Unicorn. Game three though, I knew I was going to be going second. And if they set up seven negates again and I didn't see a hand trap, it was over for me. Luckily, I saw Imperm, I saw Ghost Mourner, and then I drew Lava Golem for turn. What do you want to say? Just Guys, don't forget to like and subscribe to Spanko's Journey. Thank you. He's going to keep on scrubbing out for a little while, though, but he'll get better no, soon enough. No, 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 I'm getting better. Okay, <laughs> I'm getting better. I came first place last Locals. I'm going to... I can't come first place this Locals, the next one. I mean, if you knock out the other XO, because theoretically, true. if Yongho lo if, if um, wins, he'll be XO. And then if you knock out Yang Ho, everyone's X1. There's a chance for your round robin Listen, that everyone can it's, X1. It's a small local, so it's a little bit weird of a flex. But I drew Lava Golem. And drawing Lava Golem means I broke the board and then I was able to OTK because I went uh actually when you hear something funny so come in. So I went Lava Golem. So I was like, okay, Fenrir, activate Theosis, they ash the Theosis. I was like, okay. Dang, okay. But I have talents. So I go, okay, Fenrir effect, search Rise Heart, summon Rise Heart, go talents, talents to take the Lava Golem, attacked for 69. And then I made red eyes and then gave them back the lava golem. So they were at 11. So you and then lava, lava golem. Yeah, so lava golem burns for a thousand, but because they activated an effect, red eyes would burn them. I know, it's a scrubby way to win. But you know what? We got it. So we're one and one right now. We only have one, one more round. Being scum. Yeah, it's, it's very scummy. But you know what? We're one and one. Hopefully we can win our last round. And again, it's just a lot of learning. I'm noticing in that uh, second round, for example, that I just chose not to go into the decode line. The decode line is cool, but I just feel like it loses too many things. I was trying to play around the bureau. So yeah, I don't know. Maybe I need to get used to that line a little bit more, but I really like Cash. I think Cash is a really powerful deck. And let's just see how our last round goes today. Guys, we're midway through our final round. Uh, I hate this engine so much. Just take it. I hate <laughs> this engine. So it's gone. It's gone right after this, Locals. Okay, so I'm just going to keep it 100 with you, okay? I'm going to keep it a buck. All right, there's only four people at this Locals today. So it's three rounds. It's, uh, I forget what the word term is for it. Just round robin, that's what they call it. Everyone plays everyone. Okay, cool. I lost my round one. Cool, whatever. I won my round two. Cool, whatever. Round three, I'm going against the only player that's XO. I'm X1. Playing for my life, bro. I'm playing for my life. Game one, I ended up winning. Game two, we ended up winning. We're going into game three. Let me just tell you this. I won, okay? We won. I don't even know because technically everyone's X1 now. Or there's one X2, but then there's three X1s. So I don't know if I'm first or second. It doesn't really matter. It's a format locals anyway. But I hate this engine. I hate this engine. I'm taking it right out. The, the Heat Soul engine sucks, bro. There's You're locked out of it so many different times. And then even when you do go into it, like you have to draw specific cards for it actually to be good. Because once you're in it, you're in it, right? Yeah, no, man. This engine, I'm cutting this engine right away. It was a cash mirror, but I am cutting this engine right away. It's so bad. All right, guys. So just before I end off the vlog, I just want to let you guys know. I, wait, you guys can't even see my name. Let me, let me sneak. Let me sneak. Let me sneak. Where are we going? 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 All right. Aladdin right there. Aladdin in the mirror. All right. First place, baby. Okay. Even though it's only four players. So it's very small locals. But you know what? We did it again, technically. Back to back first place locals. The last one was actually a real locals. This one's a little bit smaller, but uh, yeah. I'm, I'm out. I'm out. Deco Tiger Heat Soul. That's why I never played Cybers to begin with. I'm out.